Hi, third grade. Today we're going to do unit eight, week two, day two. So let's get started. A, R, car, R. O, R, horn, or. E, R, her, er. I, R, bird, er. U, R, burn, er. I V E give iv A Alaska a uh. I animal a uh, or i uh. I champion e S T L E castle soul Nice work all right, now we're going to go ahead and learn our new concept for today. Hello, boys and girls, Ms. DeRosa. We are in day two, week two of unit eight. And we're going to talk today about the difference between a final stable syllable with a schwa and the consonant LE syllable that we've been talking about. So I've put two words up here. And I want you to help me read them. Bugle. Nice job. All together? Bugle. Bugle is something that people play, right? It makes music. Let's read this word. This is something you eat, and it's very good. Bagel. A bagel. If you like it, it's very good, right? So do you notice that this says gull and this says gull? So when we have a choice like that, and we know that it could be E-L or A-L, we're just going to have to look it up, either in our dictionary, in our student notebook if we have it, or our dictionary right here. So if you don't have those things, if you could run and grab a dictionary or and or your student notebook, and also grab your um, tile board, okay? All right, so which of these words has a consonant L-E syllable? That's right, that's pretty easy because you can see consonant L-E and the word is what? Right, bugle, open syllable, right? Remember we talked about counting back three? Which one of these words has a uh, schwa sound that kind of disappears? You don't even hear the vowel. That's right, bagel. Yeah, the second syllable is go. We don't even hear that uh, vowel at all. So whenever you have an ol ending, and it's really going to be hard to tell what the spelling is, that's going to be a sound option for you. Because it could be consonant L-E, it could be E-L or A-L, that final syllable that the vowel just disappears in. All right, so we're going to do a word together on our magnetic board and practice this because you can do these with a lot of words. The word is model. Thank you for echoing. The first syllable is mod. Go ahead and spell that on your board. The second syllable is ol. Hmm. So go ahead and spell it how you think it's going to be spelled, right? And um, then we'll do one with consonant L-E, right? The L-E spelling at the end and one with E-L, just to kind of practice both of those possibilities. And if you look at it, sometimes you can just say, it doesn't look right. And actually in this case, mod is a closed syllable and ol, isn't even a consonant LE syllable, is it? Because it doesn't have a consonant. So this would be mod, right? And then ul. So it would actually be either an EL or an AL ending. It really can't be a consonant LE ending. So if you turn in your notebook, if you have a notebook that you're building, uh, the sound option is on page 50, and you can look up the correct spelling for model or you could look it up in your dictionary. Don't forget, it's in the third row, so it's going to be behind that third paper clip. So if I open up my paper clip to the third one, I'm already on MA. All right, 
that is all we're going to do today. That is really short. But I want you all to keep uh, remembering that if you're not sure how to spell a word, you certainly can put it in your computer or in your um, parent's phone or somebody's phone, uh, but you can also have this dictionary close by and when you section it off, it makes it really simple to go and find the word and then you just sort of start remembering it probably if you use the word a lot. So thank you for your attention today and I will look forward to seeing you the next time. Bye. All right, eventually today we're going to have two new pairs of sound alike words to add to our collection. So before we introduce those, let's go ahead and review some from unit seven and unit eight. The first word is flower. Say it, flower. Spell it with me. Go F L O U R. And finally, show me the signal. Sprinkle the flour, roll out the dough. Right, that's the ingredient used in baking. This word is also flour. Say it, spell it F L O W E R, flour. And what is that signal? Pick it, smell it. Nice work. Next word, throne. Say it, throne. Spell it with me T H R O W N. What's the signal? Thrown. Something has been forced to fall. It has been thrown. Garbage has been thrown away. You know, in sports, the football has been thrown. Try this one. Also thrown. Say it. Thrown. Spell it. T-H-R-O-N-E. What is this version? Right. It's the chair that the king royalty sits on. And you could bow if you're a gentleman or curtsy. Okay. Nice work. Now in unit eight, we already had this one, principal, say it, principal, let's spell it, P-R-I-N-C-I-P-A-L, principal, and this one is, right, he's the head of the school, or she, but they make sure that the school is safe and everyone's following the rules. This word is principal, spell it, P. R-I-N-C-I-P-L-E. There's that consonant L-E word, right? Principle. What is this kind of principle? What's the signal? Something you believe in and live by, right? Hopefully you all have the principle of treating others with respect. It's important. Okay, our first new word is where. Say it, where. Let's spell this. W E A R, where. And this kind of where, this is when you put on clothing, you wear something. Okay. In the winter, you probably wear heavier clothing to keep you warm. Okay. Wear. Do me a favor and go into your student notebook now and let's add that word into your sound alike section. So turn open to page 109, pause the video, and for W-E-A-R, write this definition. When you put on clothing, pause the video if you need more time. Okay, now for this one, we're going to pretend it's winter for our signal. We're going to put on our hat, put on your gloves, um, wear your jacket, zip it up, okay? Okay can put on shoes. So you're going to wear all kinds of heavy clothing in the winter. Good work. Now the other wear, let's spell it together. W-H-E-R-E, -E, wear. Okay, so I say this a lot because I'm always asking, where did I put something? I always misplace things. So for where, that is a question to describe a location. Okay, so if you start a sentence with where, it's always going to be a question. Or you could say, I don't know where something is. You're asking about the location. So again, this one is also in your student notebook on page 109. For W-H-E-R-E, -E, please write this definition. A question to describe a location. And again, pause the video if you need more time. 
Okay, for this signal, we're gonna go like this and we're gonna be looking around like I do frantically. Where is it? Okay, nice work. Let's look at our second pair today. Ooh, this word is wait. Say it, wait, spell it. Tricky spelling, W-E-I-G-H-T, wait. Well, if you know the number eight, that's a tricky word, right? You just put a W in front of it for this one. This definition is talking about how heavy an object is, okay? So in your notebook, this is also on page 109, go ahead and write, weight is how heavy an object is. Pause the video if you need time. Okay, now our signal for weight is going to be like lifting weights. Like you ought to look like you're struggling. It's heavy, right? Okay, if you're getting a good workout, it's okay. So we're going to do that. Lifting weights. Very good. The next weight, let's spell that. Go. W-A-I-T. Very good. Weight. This weighting is something that I'm not always the best at. I try to be but it means spending time before something happens. Okay, you wait in line, for example. Spending time before something happens. This one is actually over on page 108. So go ahead and fill out this definition for wait. All right, now for our signal. For this one, act like you're waiting in line. Usually when people are waiting, they cross their arms, you know, they tap their foot, okay? And they look like they're trying to be patient, but it's not always the easiest thing. It's always something that even as a grown up, I'm still working on. All right, next we're gonna play a game of guess which one. So sometimes you want to leave your student notebook out in front of you to remember which word is which, but you really just need out your dry erase board, marker, and eraser. If you are at home, just grab a piece of paper and pencil, and let's see if you can figure out which one I am saying. All right, my first sentence is, Jake likes to wear that messy hat. Which wear did you hear? Here are your two choices on the screen. Jake likes to wear that messy hat. Write it on your slate, just spell it. Okay, let's spell it together, go. W-E-A-R, and show me that signal again. Zip up, very good. The next sentence is, where is the bugle? Hmm, where is that instrument? Which where is that? All right, let's spell it. W-H-E-R-E. -E. Show me. Where? Where is that? All right. The next sentence. The empty bottle has little weight. Which weight? The empty bottle has little weight. Okay, let's spell it. W-E-I-G-H-T, right? Weight, talking about how heavy something is. And the last sentence for today. I can't wait to go to the festival in December. Which wait there? Okay, let's spell it. W-A-I-T, wait. Can you stand? Tap your toe like you're waiting. Good job. The last thing that we're doing today in Foundations is a dictation dry erase. So leave your materials out and we'll get started in a second. Okay, make sure you are working on this side of your slate. The first thing I'm going to do is give you three sounds. 
up here, you're going to use this box for sound one, sound two, sound three, okay? Number one, your first sound is ah. Uh. Say it, ah. Uh. Three things in the first box, go. Okay, tell me yes if you got it. You up ah. Uh. Yes. A Alaska ah. Uh. Yes. I animal ah uh, or i. Eh. Very good. Move over to your middle box. Your next sound is ch. Say it. Ch. Two things. Go. Okay. Let's see. C H chin ch. Yes. T C H catch ch. Yes. Good job. And the last sound is our new one for unit eight. Ready? Soul. Say it. Soul. Write it down. How did you do? S T L E castle soul. Very good. Okay, you may go ahead and erase those three sounds because next we're going to do three review words. Now, when I do review words, I do like to do one at a time because otherwise it kind of gets a little squished on my slate when we do the markings. So let's go ahead and do this first word. Drop, dropped. She dropped all of her papers when she bumped into somebody. Dropped. Spell it and mark it. Go. Okay. Drop is the base word. How did we spell that? D-R-O-P. Correct. And that's a closed syllable. But I hope you knew without me having to tell you, you're attaching a suffix. Dropped. It sounds like a T, but it's actually... E D. And did you remember that drop is what kind of word? One, 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 right. So you should have doubled the consonant to keep this vowel short. Otherwise, it would sound like droped. Okay, so check your work thoroughly. Number two, go ahead and erase that one. I like a clean slate every time so you can be nice and neat and we can read what you're doing. The second word is ride riding this one also has a base word and a suffix she was riding in the back seat of the car riding go ahead all right the base word of this is ride what kind of word is ride it is not a one 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 word what syllable type right it's a vowel consonant e and when you attach a vowel suffix on a vowel consonant e word did you remember Yes, you drop the E, but when you mark it, you insert it up here just to remind your brain that it is still pronounced ride. And did you circle ING? All right, double check. The last review word erase that I want us to spell and mark today is the word, it's plural, lady, ladies. Okay, there were several ladies shopping at the mall. Go ahead and spell it and mark it, ladies. Okay, I did a lot to do this one myself. First of all, in the top part, let me cover this part up here. I went ahead and showed I'm making lady and I'm attaching a suffix to make it plural. Okay, so when I did that, like my math equation way, I knew, my brain knew, I had to change the Y to an I. Very good. And I'll show you. I really marked it up. Lay is open, macron. D is open, but that I sounds like a long E. And then I circled my ES. I even decided this time that I'm going to show it sounds like a what? Z. Right. Excellent. So check yours. See if you can add anything to your slate to make it match. All right. Go ahead and erase. Those are old rules that we've learned. And now we're going to think back to unit eight, our current unit, which is that consonant L-E. The first word I want you to write is tickle, 
tickled. Yesterday, I tickled my nephew's toes. Tickled. Spell it and mark it. Go. Okay, the first syllable of tickle is tick. Did you remember the CK? Okay, then we talked about those CK words. We usually keep the L and the E by itself, but when we're attaching a suffix, a vowel suffix, remember, you drop the E and add your vowel suffix. So your tickled should look like this. See how you did. Okay, nice job. Erase completely. Your second current word is going to be one that we learned yesterday. Hustle. Say it. Hustle. The coach wanted us out there and told us to hustle onto the field. Hustle. Spell it and mark it. Which sound card did we use to build this word? Right, that S-T-L-E, castle, soul. Hustle. Castle. What was the other one that we did? Whistle, right. So did you get hus, H-U-S is closed? And then look at how we marked these yesterday. T-L-E is your consonant L-E exception because that T is silent as well as the E. So double check your markings and see how you did. Okay, and let's get ready for the last word, which is raffle. Say it. Raffle. I was so excited when I won the raffle basket. Go ahead. The first syllable was what? Raff, R-A-F. And then this one, you did need consonant L-E. Did you do full like this? And you only cross off the silent E because this is a regular consonant L-E syllable at the end. Raffle. Excellent work. Okay, we have two sound-alike words coming your way next. So I would suggest, you know, you don't mark these up, you just spell them. It might make sense to spell your sound-alike words right up here for one and two. The first one is wear. Say it, wear. I had to wear rain boots because it was raining so hard. Wear. Just spell it on your board. All right, if you had to wear rain boots, which where are we talking about? Spell it with me. W-E-A-R, wear. Good. And then move over to this middle box here. Your next word is weight. I couldn't lift the heavy weight of the table. Weight. Write it down. All right, when you're talking about how heavy something is, what weight is it? Spell it. W-E-I-G-H-T. Weight. Awesome. All right. Erase those two. And now I have two trick words coming for you. So again, we'll use those same two boxes. The first trick word is beautiful. Say it. Beautiful. Good. Pause and spell it. Whew, I don't know about you, but that was a hard one to fit in my box. Let's spell that one together. Go. B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to use my other one over here since I kind of ran into it with beautiful. The word is could. Say it. Could. All right. Let's spell could. Go. C O U L D. Could. Awesome. And I only have one sentence for you today. So we erase both of those trick words. And let's use the lines, of course, for this sentence. It is If we hustle, comma, if we hustle, we did that one earlier. Do you remember? If we hustle, comma, we can still catch the bus. If we hustle, comma, we can still catch the bus. One 
One more time. If we hustle, we can still catch the bus. All right, let's see how you did with spelling. I'm really thinking you did fine with hustle because we practiced it. Let's spell hustle together. Go. H-U-S-T-L-E. Good. How about still? Did you remember the bonus letter at the end? Two L's. All right. And the other one I was thinking was catch. C-A what? Yeah. Hopefully you know it's T-C-H after that short vowel there. All right. And the last thing, did you check for capitalization at the beginning? Punctuation at the end? And now let's scoop it. Commas, when they're in sentences, it makes it easy to scoop because when you see a comma, you naturally pause when you read. So I'm going to scoop, if we hustle, should be all one scoop for everybody. Now here's where I'm going to say, if we hustle, we can still catch the bus. I kind of like three scoops, honestly. If we hustle, we can still catch the bus. Maybe you would say, if we hustle, we can still catch the bus. Maybe. If we hustle, we can still catch the bus. Okay, so a couple different options there. But thank you so much for joining me today, third grade, and I will see you back next time.